Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be showing you just the process of remodeling my bedroom. I've been wanting to do this project for a while and I finally just bit the bullet and did it. It was a long process. It was a long process of just picking everything out, actually doing the work. Um, I did some painting. I bought some new furniture. So I just kind of wanted to show you the process. Um, if you remember what my bedroom looked like before, it was dark. It was drab. It was very uninspiring. I wasn't happy there. Um, I didn't even have closet doors. I just wanted to take you guys along for the journey of turning my bedroom into a place that I liked. Today is day one of my master bedroom remodel. So excited about this. I've been kind of neglecting this room for a long time. I have had all these plans that I wanted for a long time. Like we don't even have a headboard. So I finally ended up like actually just writing out an exact list of everything I need and really like 100% deciding on what I want this room to look like. So I've over the last like probably month or two have been buying things for it. So I am finally getting started today and I am so excited. So let's get started. down um, the shelf that we had up there because it just wasn't wasn't necessary anymore I just never got any use out of it um, and plus I'm gonna be putting in a headboard so I had to fill in the two holes for the anchor that we had I didn't buy any texture I don't have any of that the spray on stuff the spots where we put the spackle on I um, I learned this little hack and it's probably like pretty common knowledge to anybody who's done any like renovations or anything. You sand down after you spackle it and it dries, you sand down the spots and then you take another kind of thin layer over it again. And while it's wet, you take like a damp um, paper towel or like a sponge and you can kind of mimic your own texture. And so I just thought that was a really cool little um, hack. So that's what I'm gonna do right there. never want to paint again in my life now <laughs> but all done painting the walls got both coats now they just need to dry so apparently i don't know how to pick out stuff to build a closet correctly and so mr fix it had to come and save the day <laughs> she's doing it all though i'm trying
got Mr. Fix-It to the rescue. He was able to find the stud. Oh wait, I found the stud right there. <laughs> so some of the furniture that I bought is, um, I bought the vanity. It was actually what I used to have before was one made that I threw together with some boards and it wasn't even sturdy. We actually had to nail it into the baseboard so it um, would stay up. Um, but I got this one. It's actually a desk from Ikea and I love it. It actually has drawers and it's mounted onto the wall correctly. <laughs> and I finally got an actual bed frame before, like I said, we just had the box springs. I wanted to build like a platform bed frame underneath it, but then uh, Russ didn't listen to me very well and did just this funky little thing where he just put the boards around the bottom of the box spring So it didn't look very good. It was uncomfortable I was constantly hitting my feet on it and we didn't have a headboard for years We finally have a headboard. I got new side tables. The other ones were thrifted and literally falling apart They got a lot of use. I'm happy that I had them But I finally got some new ones and they actually match and I actually have closet doors finally I haven't had closet doors in years. hundred percent done I'm almost done I still have a couple things that I would like to do I want to get a new dresser but other than that I am very happy with how the room looks now and how it turned out so that does it for today's video thank you for watching if you like this video go ahead give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time bye